What is going on everyone? My name is Jared and today was supposed to be how to jailbreak your iPhone, but uh, it didn't work out quite so great for me. So instead, I'm going to show you something else very valuable. So if you're like me, there's been times where you've used your iPhone 10 outside of the case, just had it sitting around, threw it in and out of your pocket. And while having this new stainless steel side rail is very nice, it did get scratched. Now, nothing too crazy, no big drops, no big dings, but there is scratches from pocket sand, lint, whatever, that's been floating around. That does abrase the sides. So I'm gonna show you a nice little trick, not so much a trick, but something that you can do as many times as you need to to help spruce up the side rails of your iPhone 10 without spending a lot of money, and you probably have the stuff sitting around your house right now. So let me flip this camera around and show you what we have to do. All right, so we're flipped around here and I'm just gonna show you real quick if the camera focuses up. Now there's nothing too crazy on my phone, but you can see there's some wear around the lightning port, some wear on the bottom. And when you look at the top, you're gonna see some scratches, some scuffs, whatever, as little reflections from putting your case on and off, from doing a whole bunch of different stuff. So nothing crazy. This isn't gonna fix dents and gouges, but it is gonna fix the little abrasions that you get on the sides. So a couple things that you are going to need is your iPhone. Uh, preferably have your cat move out of the way. You're gonna need some microfiber applicators or a microfiber towel. Uh, either will do, basically the point of having microfiber is that, focus, there we go, that it doesn't leave lint and it isn't abrasive against your material. So I have two of these. One I'm going to use to put it on, one I'm gonna use to take it off. I got applicators just because they were two bucks. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is I have two Q-tips just in case uh, I get some compound in the ports. So just to kind of touch up and things like that. And the last thing you're going to need is some sort of metal polish. So I have mothers. I've had this. I use this all the time on my car. I use it for my wheels. I use it for exhaust tips that are stainless steel. It's a great compound all around. It's pretty cheap. This was uh, $7. And there's a lot of other compounds out there. There's Blue Magic. Uh, basically, it's, this is a mag and aluminum polish, but it is for all metals that do, don't have a coating. So one thing I am going to point out before we get going on this is this is only going to work for your white iPhone 10. It isn't going to work for space gray, and let me tell you why real fast. So on the sides of this, this is just a bare or a non-coated, color-coded stainless steel. It's just plain silver, nothing really special about it. On your iPhone 10 that's space gray, it is black or coated with a black, a basically a color coat, almost like a laminate. It's not an actual laminate, but... The easiest thing to describe it as is a small little layer of coating of color that goes on top of the metal. And if you have a space gray iPhone that is pretty scuffed up, you will see the bare stainless steel underneath it. Now, if you want to embark on this journey and try to strip that black coating off, by all means, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to recommend it and I'm not going to say to do it. Do it at your own risk. It might look pretty cool. But for now, I'm going to say this is for your iPhone 10 silver only. All right, so we are going to take a little bit of compound. Now I'm gonna apply this with my finger so I have more control over it. And we're gonna start at the top here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and basically a dab will do you with this stuff. You don't need a lot because it's gonna spread out on the metal. I'm just gonna rub it across. Now one thing I will say is I wouldn't recommend getting a ton of this on the glass. I'm unsure if it would affect your oleophobic coating. I don't know if it'll do anything to it. It might take it off because this polishing compound is a small abrasive. Um, it may have an adverse effect. I also wouldn't say to get it a ton on your back glass or at least rub it a lot on your back glass because again, it is an abrasive and I have no idea what it will do. But I do know that it shouldn't affect your plastic side rails all that much. Again, this is just a very 
very fine abrasive. It's like toothpaste, but for metal rims. So I'm gonna do that, and now I'm gonna take the polishing cloth or the microfiber applicator, and I'm just gonna start buffing out the top. Now this is probably gonna take two or three times to get it to look where you want it to, but we're gonna do it just once at a time here. And you can see, you're already getting black on your rag, and that's fine, it's not saying that your, your device is so dirty Oh my god, no. Uh, this happens with anything. Basically, just the black is taking a very, very tiny layer of metal off, taking a very little bit off just to make it shine up again. So, I'm just going to finish polishing it up. I'd also say probably turn off your phone. I didn't do that. Don't really, to me, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I would certainly do that. Again, I don't recommend getting it on the sides of your of the glass or especially on your glass camera lens. I don't know if it would scratch the delicate glass on it. It may, it may not. Again, do that. I won't recommend it. You could even tape it off with a little bit of masking tape if uh, you're really worried. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. This time I am gonna use the rag just to see how that works. My main focus is the top because that is on my device, the top and the bottom is where it's most scratched. I am gonna get this side now. And when you're done, you could actually just rinse this off in the sink if you wanted to. Again, you know, your, your iPhone is IP67 water resistant, so you could just rinse it real quick. It really wouldn't do any harm, and it would absolutely get all of the compound out of the nooks and crannies. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to buff it with the clean side, and buff the top again with the clean side. So I don't know if you can see right away, but if I have this focus up on the top of the iPhone, it already looks better. It looks so nice and shiny, and as you can see on the side, it really didn't affect this plastic band. God, I'm hitting the camera. It didn't really affect that plastic. Okay, I found this. Easy does it, Siri. And I'm just going to wipe off on the glass where that compound got on. So now I'm going to move on to doing the bottom, and I am going to do this side with the mute switch again, and I'm going to do the other side with the power button again, just so everything, I'm going to do everything twice, we're going to see how it looks, and then we're going to go from there. So I thought about this today because, being that this is stainless steel, uh, it's not anything crazy, that this would probably work. Uh, using a cleaner, you could probably even try toothpaste, honestly. Toothpaste is a light abrasive that may be able to uh, get the job done just to take off, you know, these this top layer. It isn't going to be if, uh, you know, you have gouges from dropping it or anything like that. It, it certainly won't help you there. But it might help you get some of just the finer scratches off. And if you do use your phone without a case, this will just help out that much. I am typing all sorts of passwords in right now. Again, probably turn your phone off, even though it's going to probably turn on once you start pressing the buttons. Uh, turn your phone off. I'm going to buff this out again. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera because my arm is going through my tripod here. But we're going to buff it off. Yeah, that looks pretty impressive right now. I'll get the top again. I'm just going to actually just wipe off the whole phone. Now I do have a screen protector on. If I didn't, I would probably recommend just putting a little bit of masking tape maybe over your speaker grill, over where the glass meets the metal, just so you don't abrase anything too important. You don't take off any of the coatings that are important. So there you have it. The sides are getting better. I'm gonna do this side again with the power button and SIM card slot. It's gonna take a little bit more polish. Ooh, I got a lot on that time. Um, we're gonna buff it. I think I did get a little bit on in my SIM card tray, so we're gonna get that out in just a second. And now I am gonna start applying kind of like the residue, uh, what's left after I really wipe it good onto the bottom where my speaker grill is, as well as the charging port. Again, you wanna make sure you don't get a ton of stuff everywhere. You don't wanna get a ton of compound in your charging port because, well, obviously that's bad. So I'm just gonna Put that on like so. I'm gonna wipe off what's on my screen. And now we're gonna buff it one more time. 
again, you can just keep on buffing. You don't, you really can't go wrong with buffing more. It'll just make it look that much more impressive once you're done. On the bottom again, I'm probably going to need to use my Q-tip on the bottom as I buff this out right here. Actually, I don't really have to. Now, so you guys saw how the bottom was the most scratched from plugging in your charging port here and there. Now look at that. It's almost 100% back to normal. You see a little bit on top of the speaker grill, just a little bit more scuffing. So that means I might do this one more time on the bottom just to really give that the, the attention it needs. But everything really has shined up very nice. That side looks good. Compound even came out of the SIM card slot hole. Trying to use Apple Pay. Going to just buff this side out real quick. Again, this side looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to do the bottom one more time. And it should be good to go. Now, I am just going to wipe the excess on the sides. Again, I don't want to use like full strength uh, all the compound right on the holes to get them all clogged up. That's not what I want to do. Right, so we got it applied. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always keep my phone in a case. And even with a case, I get these micro scratches from, you know, sand in your case, whatever that case, get it, maybe. Um, I get stuff, I get scratches. Now, little uh, tidbit of information while I'm buffing this out and finishing up here. So this was the actual, the, the second phone Apple did with stainless steel. Most people probably don't know, or if you do know, that's great. The 4 and 4S actually had stainless steel side rails as well, but being that they were an anodized or a finished uh, top, a lot of people didn't realize that, and this trick would not have worked because it only polishes, and that would have ruined the coating that they had on the sides. So a lot of people were saying, oh, this is the first stainless steel side rail phone. Technically, no. The 4 and 4S were. This will not work on the aluminum coated phones because of the special color coating or that anodized coating on the edges. Uh, it's just not gonna, just not gonna do it. So I obviously would not recommend doing it to a phone like that because you'll end up ruining your color on it. So let's see, I'm gonna do, I still see a little bit of abrasion right there on the edge. I'm gonna do the top and the one side one more time and we're gonna call it done. So, I use my phone in a case. I don't know about you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do you rather have your phone be naked? You know, show the, the awesome design, the functionality, the elegance of what these manufacturers are creating. Do not eat the Q-tips. Gotta hide those. Um, or do you prefer having the case on it be protected so that when you take your phone out of it, it is absolutely mint, pristine, and flawless? Let me know. I like to talk about it. I usually go for the case because I just want to have that extra precaution, that extra little step of safety in case I do drop it. Now, knock on wood, I don't really drop my device that much, and if I do, it's on carpet. But if I do, I'd rather have a case like I was using this uh, spec case right here so that I have some drop protection. So this is going to be my last buffing. I'm just going to go up and down the sides like crazy. Gonna just wipe the front real quick. There we go. Buff the top really good. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna do this side again. Perfect. So now this thing is like brand new again. Just like I took the plastic off of it. This could be a nice little trick if you're gonna resale your phone and you have a couple little abrasions you want to uh, hide for a mostly perfect phone, small little marks you want to take care of. This could do it. You could do it as much as you want, whenever you want. It's really not going to hurt it because this takes off such a small layer, uh, takes off all the dirt, takes off all the grime, and it does give you that amazing mirror shine back on the rails of your phone. Looks like it's 
like glass almost. So I'll just wipe this off again real quick. Boom. So there you have it, guys. That is how you get rid of scratches on your iPhone 10. Again, this is for the white model only. Uh, use it on your own discretion if you want to use it on the black. Like I said, I don't know. It probably is going to take that color off, and that's going to be up to you if you really want to uh, try it. So if you do try it, let me know. Let me know how it works. Does it actually clean it or does it take the color off? <laughs> Hopefully you only try it if your color is already coming off. But there you go. This is now a basically brand new looking iPhone 10, which I have had since launch. So there you have it, guys. My name is Jared. I am from TechWorks. This was another video about how to keep your device looking nice. Again, you can use any sort of metal polish. I use Mothers. I've always used Mothers. Cheap, effective, works every time. That's what I like to see. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by and tuning into my channel. I do appreciate it very much. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if this trick worked for you. Remember, a dab will do ya. you. Don't have to go crazy with how much compound you put on. As you can see, the plastic bands are still perfect. Nothing happened to those. They didn't get discolored. They didn't change. So you can be safe. Uh, you could do this with any other phone that also has stainless steel or any sort of polished metal. So, for example, like the Huawei Mate 10, that isn't really polished. That's colorized. I wouldn't do it there. But if you have any other phone that has polished side rails, it could be worth a shot. So again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.